aku dulu Motok Hei Yo, what is good everybody? Another day, another piece of plastic. Articulated Ninja here. And uh, this was it. Like, I did it. I did it. I finally found the one. I found the one. <laughs> no, not as far as girls are concerned. I've been taking them off the market. <laughs> but, I I'm actually talking about I found the one vehicle for me at least that is done the best basically 112 scale military truck or jeep or whatever you want to call it for six inch figures gi joe classified valiverse marvel legends whatever you want to use with it you can it might not be your cup of tea but for me this is it seriously this wait wait chill out this is the truck this is the truck for me and hopefully, if you guys like it, this guy this will be the truck for you, too. So I'm trying to put you guys on as usual. Maybe you'll like it, too, and I hope you enjoy. Let me show you why this truck for me is first place. First place vehicle of all the others on my channel so far. As usual, let me show you the details to the truck, and then I'll tell you at the end of the video where to find it, what the name of it is, etc., how much I got it for, all that stuff. Let's go. Lights. Camera. Action. Look at this. Look at these beautiful shots. Look how bright those headlights are. And the taillights just as bright too, you'll see. But there's no Instagram filters here. Look at how nice and simple and clean this truck is. And it comes with some accessories. It comes with some really nice goodies. But just look at everything you can see so far. When I pulled this thing out the package, I was pretty surprised. We're gonna get over how it feels and the durability of it and all that stuff. But I was really surprised at the price point that it was at. I was it, it it came with all this stuff that shovel that you see is removable that gas tank is removable the can the gas canister that's what i meant the gas canister is removable i'm pretty sure you could get the tires off look at how clean these headlights are look everything about this truck just said like yo this is the truck for me to army build if i'm gonna army build any truck this is the truck for me to army build this truck will be a staple in my collection used across the board just so you can see this section real fast it doesn't come with any stickers or nothing there are a lot of a lot of nozzles and buttons and you know the shape is there on a dashboard you can paint it you can add stickers if you want it's all there for you to do so but it just comes in a basic military green you guys can see the pedals right there yep and i'm pretty sure you can dremel that out to give even more foot space and leg space for the figures now just looking at the height it stands about six and a half inches tall I know that that's not that tall, but there is a trick. There's a cover and everything that it comes with as well. Yes. And from front to back, the length looks about 13 inches from front to back. All right, let's get some figures in here so you can see the height. There you go. I like this height. It's definitely good enough for me. I know military vehicles come in all different shapes and sizes. Let's bring in a bike. As you guys can see, Breaker's bike is about half the size of the truck. Man, I love this thing. I really love it. Now. Let's show how many figures can fit inside of this thing. And yes, yes, that is on the bigger side of classified, that roadblock gung-ho body mold. He is in the front seat comfortably. But as you guys can see, this vehicle fits three, three. Even the big guys can fit in comfortably. Yes, as you guys can see, this car is a radio controlled car. And I usually don't really fuck with the idea of making radio controlled cars, regular cars for, the, for my six inch figures, but I had to make an exception for this. This thing is so nice. It, it's super smooth. It's not really noisy. It's just so nice. And it definitely got some speed to it, guys, but I'm trying not to run it off the table because I don't want it to crash and burn. Just want to show off some of the shocks right here. It is really bouncy. The front, yeah, yep. The front seems pretty good. The back, really good shocks. All around it has really good shocks. Pretty bouncy, yeah. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel cheap. I'm surprised. The steering wheel does move. They put that the steering wheel moves on the box. I don't know why that was so important to put on the box that the steering wheel moves. Like you need the steering wheel to move. But um, some of these knobs do move. Um, some of them just feel kind of loose. These seats are. They're in there pretty sturdy, but I'm sure you could pop them off. I'm able to pop the back one off. And look at this. 
I mentioned it before, but this gas canister, yes, it does pop out. So that's a nice little accessory. Um, pretty sure we could get this back tire off. It is nice and squishy and rubbery. That is dope. Swinging it around. I think this is like an axe, military axe or whatever it does. It does look like it can pop off, but I'm just, I don't want to go through the trouble of trying to do so, but I'm pretty sure a way better customizer modder could just pop that thing right off. I don't want to do it. Same with the shovel on this side. Literally, I could just pop it out with my finger. I just, like I said, I just don't want to do it. I'm good just leaving it exactly how it is. And this screwdriver came to for the wheel alignment on the bottom of the truck. You can wheel align it in case it's moving to the side. It also came with these metal brackets, which first confused the fuck out of me. I had no idea. But then I found this. So I said, okay, that has to be what these metal brackets are for. It has to be for this cover piece. So let's show how simple this goes in. Let's just pop that in right there. There's two holes on the back. Then you pop this in basically on the same hinge. Put it just like that. This little cover piece does have these little Velcro straps on them. So let's speed up the process real fast to show you guys how it looks. And even without speeding it up, it really didn't take that long. But there's so many little straps um, to actually have to Velcro on. But I, I really do like the way that this looks. I was surprised that it even came with this in the first place. Because when I ordered it, the pictures on a box, the side of it didn't, that I was looking at, it didn't even show this cover. But let's just throw Duke in here real fast so you can see he still fits in with the cover. Uh, Alright, so also throwing breaker just so you guys can see. Now at the top, his head is pushing on the top of the, the tent or whatever you want to call it, the cover. But it's not a big deal to me because I don't, I don't really want the cover on it anyway. But it doesn't look bad with it on. Show from a uh, side angle so you guys can see how they look. Duke actually does have some space, but since Breaker is wearing a helmet, he's actually touching the top of the cover. And I really like this thing. As I said before, let's show what's underneath the hood. And uh, that's where the Barity goes to charge it. And I think that's pretty creative in itself right there. When I was a kid, the Barities would go on the bottom or in the back. Or Now they actually got in the hood, so the hood opens up so you could take some pretty creative photos like they're working on the engine of the truck. And let's just, let me show how fast you can pull this off. It's getting it on, that takes a little bit. But just pulling the Velcro strips to get it off, that is pretty fast. So, uh, yeah, let's just pull this off real fast. There you go. Pull out the little metal brackets. I got to use two hands sometimes, but they pop right out as soon as you pull them. Super easy and convenient. Yo, I really don't have a lot of complaints regarding this truck other than it being an RC. But if it wasn't an RC, I don't think the headlights, I don't think we would get lights on it. So I really don't have no complaints. And just so you guys can see, there is no angle sorcery happening here. There's enough space for the figures to fit their foot underneath. And that is so dope to me because it really looks like they're pressing the pedals. Could there have been a little bit more space? Sure, but this works good enough for me. And like I've shown, if I can get Roblox in the passenger seat, I'm pretty sure I could get him in a driver's seat. So I'm good. And I like that the figures have shoulder space away from each other. They're not crammed right next to each other. Also, just want to show real fast, this pops right there. Okay, this pops down and it goes back up. Super easy, super convenient. I just wanted to show in case you didn't like the windshield, you can probably pop it right off if you wanted to. But it also, you also have the options to put it down. Maybe you can put some guns on it or whatever. Any heavy customizers or modders out there, that might have been useful for them to know. So I almost forgot about it. And I got a few messages in the past like, hey, Ninja, you never show underneath your vehicle. So there you guys go. I'm not sure why that's important, but the little red button that you see in the front, that is the on and off switch. I like that there's a mixture of black and green underneath the truck. You can see how good the shocks are and everything else. Like I said, um, and that little screwdriver, where's the little screwdriver at? Okay, here we go. So this little screwdriver that does come with it. Is for the wheel alignment it does come with directions to tell you exactly what screws to turn if it's going too much to the left or too much to the right you just fix it yourself with the little driver here is the remote control that came with mine i'm like i said i'm not going to be using it much other than to turn on the lights but um what i think is cool is that this little tire is to make it go left or right as you can see and i think it's pretty cool that the steering wheel is in the shape um, of an actual tire to move the wheels you move the tire on the remote control Okay, let me try to get the remote into focus real fast. One side says T TH trim, the other side says ST trim. To be honest, I have no clue what the fuck that means. I don't really care. I'm not reading the directions to find out. My math ain't mathing on that one. I'm good. I don't plan to use it anyway. 
Let me show you guys what happens if you turn off the remote. The lights start blinking, I guess it's looking to connect. But if you hold the power button and turn on the remote, the lights stay on. And I'm really wondering, let me wait, turn it off just so you guys can see. Yep, it starts blinking again, looking to connect. Turn on the remote and we're back on. And I really wonder how long these lights will last because it says that the runtime on the vehicle being used is 30 minutes. So if I just turn the lights on and I don't run it, I really wonder how long this battery here is going to last. Because I've had it on this entire time. It's been on for over 30 minutes, but I'm not running it like that. And the lights are still just as bright as when I first turned them on. So if you just turn on the lights and leave it on the shelf, you have a bunch of headlights like some Fast and the Furious car meetup. I'm pretty sure all the truck lights will stay on for a really long time. I really do like that the battery is underneath the hood here. As I brought up before, that is pretty creative. It just pops right back in. Like I said, I had this on for over 30 minutes and those lights are still super, super bright. So I'm really liking this thing a lot, but you know, it wouldn't be my channel. It wouldn't be me if I didn't make this thing a little bit better with my amateur customizing and kit bashing and model skills. Um, I had to try to make this thing a little bit better, a little bit more suitable for other figures in my line, not just green army good guys. Ah, oh, man, I love this part. Articulated Ninja Original Plastic Upgrade No Jutsu. <laughs> Okay, guys, this is it. Um, link in the description below. It is my affiliate link. Check it out there. Um, it, it's on Amazon. I ordered it from that exact place, that exact link, and I showed up a day later. No issues. Both times showed up a day later. No issues at all. So if you liked it so far, link is in the description below for you to get your own. Quick shout out to xd.toys on Instagram. I tell you guys all the time, if you want to reach me, hit me up on Instagram. He tagged me in his post. He has the same truck or a similar one. And I, I commented and I was like, where did you get this Jeep? And he responded and said, eBay. So the reason I said similar and not the same is because the side of his truck clearly has numbers. Mine's don't. So like I said, I'm assuming this is just a bootleg truck and multiple sellers have the mold for it or whatever. Get it from a factory. They put whatever decals on it they want and then they sell it. So his has numbers. Mine's don't. And I, I was having trouble finding it on eBay. So I, I went over to Amazon and I found it on Amazon because I had no idea what to type in. Uh military truck radio controlled military truck so many things were coming up some of them 500 a thousand dollars just crazy stuff but i found it on amazon first for myself and then i went back to ebay typed in the same thing and i found it on ebay but i i personally wouldn't go with ebay because it, all the ones i found are coming from china so it's going to take forever to get to you and just i don't know i had a good experience with amazon but i do also have the ebay link in the description below if you guys want to try and get it from there if you're more comfortable with ebay but i did not get mines from there i got mines from the, the amazon link the amazon seller that i posted in the description check it out get one for yourself once again shout out to xd because um he tagged me in his post tell you guys all the time tag me on instagram if you guys want me to see what you're posting want me to see what you're doing i love seeing the creativity that you guys come up with Real quick, I just wanted to show you guys how easily it is to get the bigger bucks into the front seat like gung-ho and roadblock. And if we play some, I have his knees bent like so. And it might look unnatural outside of the car, but you'll see once we place them right back inside, it looks totally natural and totally fine. So that is really cool that we get that much leg space in the front seat to be able to place those bigger figures as well. He also fits in the back. Also, I get a lot of questions <laughs> after the little montage videos about what did I use? Where did I get the guns from? So this is just a super simple mod 
Guys, that's why I really don't consider myself a customizer. I can only imagine what some of these real customizers can do to this truck. This truck is so simple and so clean. But this stationary gun, I don't know what it's from, but it's from a 1996 uh, Kenner toy. And I know that because at the bottom right here, you can see it says Kenner 1996 on it. But I had it in a toy chest and I just pulled it out and it was perfect for this. So this is what I used it for. And these front little spears right here, this comes from the classified series Lady J. Um, and the Gatlin gun in the front on the hood comes from the breaker series. I mean the the breaker bike in the classified line So I just crazy glued all this stuff on made it completely black and I like it a lot Like I said, I can only imagine what some of these real customizers can do to this because it is super Plain it's super simple. It's just screaming to be modified and the benefit is even if you don't want to modify it It comes right out the box ready ready to fit classified figures right it's already dark green you guys know i love my dark green for the joes it's already dark green so it looks perfect it's great already right out the box but if you do want to modify you have so many options with this thing now i got it on sale on amazon for 68 dollars i believe the original listing price was 88 but for 68 dollars i got it to my house literally a day later you can't beat that. I understand it's not my usual fines, 10, 15 bucks, but $68 with price increases bringing domestic figures to about $30 and change, $35. This $68, half of this is the price of a one basic domestic figure. So I think for $68, this is really good. You get a truck fully ready to go. No paint needed, no nothing needed. You get working lights. It's radio controlled. Like, you, oh man. We're going to get trucks eventually from one of these companies, Classified, Valiverse, whoever, but we're not going to get lights in it. It's not going to be radio controlled. We're not going to get all these features for 70 bucks, basically. We're not going to get that. So that's why I think this price is really good. Like I said, I know it's not usually I'm finding stuff for 30 and under, but you double that 30 and it's ready to go right out of the box. I love the TMNT truck, but there were still mods that I wanted to do to it. I don't I don't have to do no mods for the Joes right out of the box. I love this thing. So links to get your own is in the description. And once again, I appreciate you guys for liking, tagging, sharing everything, hitting me up on Instagram, everything. And if you like this type of content, you might want to subscribe because, of course, I have more on the way. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys are having a great, peaceful, stress-free day. As always, life is short. Try to appreciate it more than you complain about it. Peace.